Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am here along with Alexis, part of the Notary Educators training team. I'll just do a two-second introduction. You may know me from my YouTube channel, but I'm also part of the Notary Educators training team where we teach notaries in all states how to notarize like a pro and more. Alexis? Hey, everybody. It's Alexis with Mobile Notary Services by Alexis and also a part of the Yes, it is. Oh, let's see. We might have to mute somebody. I did. Oh, cool. Okay. So welcome again, Alexis. And um, all of those, all of you who may be new to the Notary Meetup Monday, this is where we share gems and we're actually growing businesses and helping each other over here. Okay. Um, this is a free event. So please spread the word. We really want people to start growing their businesses it's enough of, you know, oh, I need a mentor. Oh, I need this. Now it's time to start executing. And we've been able to help each other the last um, couple of meetings that we had, starting with that Friday kickoff that we had a few weeks ago. So these will be replayed in case you miss it. Welcome to those who will join us on the podcast also. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to ask guys so we can try to get as many as we can because we will stop at the nine o'clock hour. Um, try to keep your initial question in 30 seconds or less. Or any comment you have, actually, we could try to keep it to like 30 seconds just to get started and make sure everybody can be heard. And then we could always double back to you or something like that. OK, so last week, just to piggyback off of our conversation, we talked about um, people being afraid to start their businesses. So I wanted to start off with one tip that I found and whatever you may have to share with your fellow notaries that you have found to help you overcome your fears if you are an introvert or you're super shy, what have you found to help you overcome that in order to get your business started? It may not be where you want it to be, but I'm sure all of us, even myself, had to overcome some fear um, to get started. And briefly, I'll share my fear. My greatest fear with general notary work is the unknown of the documents, <laughs> not knowing when they call me, what is it going to be, you know? What is the document going to be? Is it a power of attorney? What am I walking into? Do they have dogs? <laughs> you know, a lot of unknown. So that was my biggest fear. So how did I overcome that? Well, the notarization piece of it, I learned how to notarize properly. So now I can notarize even a piece of toilet paper. If you did not see that video, go back and see it. So I overcame that fear. The fear of dogs, I overcame that. Not really, but overcoming by just pre-screening my clients, do you have a dog, you know? So sometimes that can help you to overcome a fear, get right in front of it. So I know what my fear is. Hey, I need to know before I even walk in that house, do you have a dog? And then from there, we can see what we're gonna do with the dog. Are you gonna put the dog up? Am I going to, are we going to another location? You know, are you coming outside? What's the resolution so I can get my money and accomplish what the client needs, with it, which is a notarization. Does that make sense? Yep. Thank you, guys. So my other little point I wanted to share, and then you guys, please feel free to start raising your hands to help with this part of the conversation. The whole hour doesn't have to be about overcoming your fear, but I want to take at least 10 minutes for those who had that issue last week. We promised we would talk about it. So the first thing I came up with to overcome your fear, Alexis, did you want to comment on a fear that you have overcome or are overcoming? Yeah. When I first started, my biggest fear was the legal part of what we do. You know, I did I was just nervous about, you know, what if something is incorrect or what if somebody tries to come back and get me for something? Um, it kind of it, mo it mostly came from me watching other, you know, YouTube channels and doing you know how you do your research in Facebook groups, mm -hmm. listening listen to that. And I just was like, oh, this seems like a lot. Um, but the basics of that is know your state handbook, know what you can and cannot do. And if you follow that, you're good to go. And that's how you overcame that, that particular part of it, yep. um, is making sure. So you see guys, how we do have fears, but we're working through the fear and trying to, you know, figure out what can we do to overcome that? Right. Hold on, I'm trying to send somebody the link right quick. I don't know if that worked for them or not. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, so we do have fears, all of us. So the one point I wanted to share, and then I saw Miss Connie, I saw you put your hand up. I'm coming back to you. Is to educate yourself. As um, Alexis and I both said, knowledge is powerful, is a powerful tool against fear. 
research and gather information about the industry you want to enter, the market, potential competi competitors, the business fundamentals, and the more you know, the more confident you'll feel. And part of that for notaries is training, having proper training, and then also knowing your state handbook, okay? Not maybe front to back because you may not know everything, right? But at least put your eye on every page and you'll be able to come back to it. So we'll go ahead and take Mr. Arnold's comment and then we'll see who else would like to chime in on this part about being afraid. And you should be able to unmute yourself, hopefully. Gotcha. Okay, real quick, I'll try to make it short. My fear, I also say concern, is more about whether or not I can sustain everything, build a client base, how to find and prospect for the clients myself, you know, and so, uh, and I, and I have this fear because I was always afraid of being a salesperson, never wanted to be a salesperson. Remember that chick, kids television show Pee Wee's Playhouse, where in the first year he was always trying to kick the salesman out of his house. You know, that was me. So, <laughs> but I realized also that you have to have a certain amount of that salesman's mindset to be able to do something like that. Not all of it, because you can also have some ethos with it, okay? You can be ethical. You don't have to try and sell a 2,400 cubic foot freezer to an Eskimo, you know? You, could, you know, you don't have to do that. You can do things right. You can make the clients well uh, and at least have that part of a salesman's mindset to be able to do it a mindset and a belief in the product that the product will work. And that's what will get you past that threshold. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a matter of doing all the things you need to do to find your clients. Mm -hmm. That is so true. And you know, what's so funny. You said that we don't want to feel like salespeople, but the funny thing about it is with the service that we provide, they need this. Most people, when they call you will say, I could not find a notary. So that's a good point. We have to overcome that we have to feel like salespeople because we are selling ourselves, right, on our in our product, which is being a notary. But when you realize how bad these people really need us, our client, you really overcome that quickly. Sometimes you feel bad about even charging. I have, we take, we need Angela here to counteract that. She says, I never feel bad. But when you realize they couldn't find anybody else and you're out on a Saturday afternoon performing this service to your client yes you deserve your pay and they need you so we have to overcome that so what's some ways you guys we you can we can overcome that fear of feeling salesy to our clients because we don't want to feel like we're selling them something i know i don't like that idea either how, how can we overcome the fear of feeling too salesy anybody got a thought because you know i got one I think you can, anybody else before I, I hop in? But, I mean, but that's who, that's what we should be doing, um, selling ourselves, but not being salesy, because if, if you don't talk about you, why would anybody else? So it's all about how you present it, you know? It, so the salesy part, I don't particularly like that phrase, but I understand the point of view, but you you should be your walking, talking billboard. I totally agree. You are the brand. I say that around here all the time. My husband does not particularly care to get on camera. And he's like, no, you're the face of the business. I'm like, uh, no, not even just our notary educators team on our personal business. He doesn't really like to show himself, but you are the brand. I mean, when you get ready to pay your bills, uh, Georgia Power don't care who face was out there. You know, they want to know what green coming with that. And the only way you're going to get green is people to call you. You have to advertise. Coca-Cola don't feel bad about advertising 10 times a day. They pay good money on Super Bowl Sunday to advertise. Any thoughts on advertising, Alexis, you'd like to add or feeling salesy or how can we combat that, that feeling like that? My biggest thing is what you said. If you When you realize that people need you and you have a business, it's just like any other service that we on a day-to-day -day basis use. If, if you need something, you're going to pay for it. And I am quick to say, you know, depending on the client, how the conversation is going, I'm quick to direct them to UPS where they can do it for this amount or mm -hmm. the they can do it for free. Mm -hmm. So 
I don't, I get where you're coming from, but I mean, it's a service. People need you. The bank can't do everything. UPS can't do everything. So that, on, that only leaves you. And, and for example, hospital? you oh, try to appeal to people's pain points. Like I have, I'm working on marketing my uh, notary remote service to like all the different lawyers and stuff like that on their websites, you appeal to their pain points. You find lawyers that have to deal with international clients and you know they're not going to be able to get them to do that, mm -hmm. but you can do it because you're a remote online notary and as long as the document is United States based, you can do it. You know, so uh, that's one of the things. You appeal to their pain points. So you see how you've helped two people though. You've helped the attorney or whoever could not do it and then you've helped the person overseas. So right. like Alexa said, it really is a service. And I totally get that about feeling salesy. And I think another way to overcome that is being confident in your abilities. Because you think the doctor feel bad, the heart surgeon, because he got to charge you 10 times what a uh, urgent care doctor charge. No, he's skilled. He's skilled in what he does. And same thing as a notary. You know, um, I, I use the same example because you do have notaries out there who do not know what they're doing. And they're charging premium money. And then they have to call one of us to fix it. <laughs> Alexis, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you had a notary who you knew was new, did not know what she was doing, and she tried to overcharge you. She didn't know who you were. Not that we're anybody, but she didn't know you are on YouTube and stuff. And she was trying to gouge you. And what's your experience with that? <laughs> exactly what you said. People do not know what they're doing. And that's where training comes into play, of course. But... Yeah, price pricing and not knowing what you're doing. That's why you are the preferred notary. That's why people want to pay to come to you. Mm -hmm. I've had more people tell me how much my services have assisted them, whether that was come to their home, get the document done at 7 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night. I've had so many more people tell me how my services benefited them and fit mm -hmm. into their life than people who have said otherwise. Yes, and there's nothing like um, being a resource to the community. So you guys know I take issue when people say, well, you shouldn't make money as a notary. You're a public official. Uh, yes, but I'm also running a business and it's a service, as we already stated before. Let's see what iPad Vicky has to say. How would you like to contribute to the conversation? Yes, I was trying to, um, I want to ask a question. I often watch you guys. Thank you for all that you um, give us new notaries. I've only been commissioned since June 5th. And I hear you always say that we need the additional training. I'm not sure what classes should I start with. I'm doing my loan signing notary right now mm -hmm. class, but I have not done any commissions because I want to do that additional. But I'm just not sure which classes are additional that I should be taking. Yeah, I probably would have had you wait on the long signing piece and have you start with like notarize like a pro so you can know how to properly notarize. That's either live training or self-paced that we offer. And that's going to go over your basic notarial duties, teaching you how to complete a direct, how to complete an acknowledgement, how to administer an oath. And then I would have had you do the notary signing piece because that's just a higher level. You'll be doing um, long documents. But if you don't know how to do a basic document, the long document might be a little challenging for you. So you can always double back and take either of those classes. Um, it's a live or self-paced, either one. But that's where 99% of people need to start. And then we become a notary signing agent. And then we add all these other pieces. Thank you very much. Oh, my okay. pleasure. So just check out the website and see what works best for you, okay? All yes, right. thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, Ms. Vicky. Ms. Rachelle. I, I keep forgetting to take myself off mute. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, Alexis. Um, in regard to what we were saying, I'm still a little nervous, but what I'm starting to understand is that typically the best salespeople are the people who believe in their product. They believe in what they're selling so that even if they're selling, selling ice to Eskimos, or, you know, sand the people in the desert, they believe that their sand is the best sand in the world, then they go and proudly go out there and sell that sand. So if you believe in the con in the product knowledge and the training that you've had and you're confident, then it's not necessarily selling the service, but 
you're selling yourself and you're selling your competency. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And you've invested Precisely. in your business. Yeah. And you have invested in your business. So there's no reason for you not to recoup your investment. You know, um, if you've invested in training, if you've invested in supplies and insurance, et cetera, et cetera, there's no reason for you not to. I don't want to put Miss Marcel on the spot, but she is um, very, very shy by nature. And and she's overcome it and she's doing some amazing things. Would you be willing to share maybe two points that really help you overcome your shyness? I know you're still working through it, but I mean, you're doing weddings in the garage, okay? <laughs> yeah. So you're doing something Hi, right. Guys. Hi, welcome. Would you mind if we put you on the spot and just share what has helped you a little bit? Well, um, of course, yeah, as you know, I was so nervous and shy when I just started and I think what helped me the most was training the training that I got I trained with Angela for general notary work and I think that really helped and then the more I interacted with people the more open I became I think that's what does it for right now I'm a totally different person than I was a year ago because I love meeting people. And the more I meet them and the more I talk to them, the more I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. So that's what helped. And it's funny you say that because during the pandemic is when I actually started, um, really started my business. I was a notary prior to that, but I started my business during the pandemic. And I think that's part of the only reason that my husband and I did not go completely stir crazy because we worked all through the pandemic. I mean, we met some amazing people. We masked up, they wore their mask and we were vaccinated when that started happening. And that's how we 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 really enjoy meeting people. So I will say that about this business though. You must enjoy meeting people. If you are not a people person, I'll be honest. And I, I did a video about this too. This may not be the business for you if you just don't like people because they will feel it, you know? Now that ain't mean you gotta be everybody's BFF, but if you really just genuinely don't like talking to people and don't like you know, that part of it, it may not be the business for you because that's the only way you're going to eat. Yes, Marcel. Because I was always a people person, but I was always shy. I, I hate to be on the put, put on the spot. So, but with this, it really, really opened me up to the, like, like now I can talk to anybody. Now I'm happy to have conversations. We always have a conversation in my garage, always. Unless the person's in a mad rush, but we always sit there and talk. Yeah, you, you got know. people giving you pickles out there and all kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i well, personally am i personally am glad that there's more than one person out there that likes to use their garage <laughs> oh i do my garage too and angela does also yeah we all service right out the garage uh, marcel has completed at least three weddings in the garage right yes i've done a few in there <laughs> yeah right in her garage so i mean by any means necessary we are getting it done well we can definitely change the topic what else would we like to talk about this evening hey vicky you're back Thank you, Marcel. We appreciate it. I'm sorry. No, I thought my hand was still up. <laughs> yeah, I was reading your comment um, that you have been a realtor for four years, so you're very comfortable with the loan signing process. Are you comfortable with the notarization piece of, piece of that? I just want to know. Um, no, that's why I haven't done anything yet. Also, I want to take those additional trainings that you suggested. I'm going to okay. sign up for all of that before I go out. Um, I understand it, but I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. Okay, yeah. So and under and understand it correctly, also, yeah. not just yeah. thinking I understand. Okay, very good. I was gonna say the documents may seem familiar to you, especially as a realtor, but then you're putting on your other hat, also your notary hat. So okay, very good, very good. So yeah, just kind of check around the website and see what what uh, would work better for you, self-paced or live. Okay, it'd be our pleasure. Miss Connie, welcome, welcome. Hello, thank you. Quick question, shifting gears. So yeah. um, I've hit the ground running to some degree because I'm still like, you know, I have a launch date now that's set for September 15th. But where I'm, I'm working on my Google page and I saw a post today about having a website in place before you do your Google page. I just want the re recommendation on that because I'm building it out. So I'm not really ready to, to pull the trigger, so to speak, but I'm just trying to figure out what's the proper, which order should it go? Should it be the website, then the Google My Page, or start where you are? What's your thoughts, Alexis? Because I'm going to let Alexis go first because I've had a um, 
I've done something differently in my business and I'll tell you about that. Go ahead, Alexis. And we all have. Um, if you're just starting out, go ahead and do your Google page. And if you, I mean, let's go back to the beginning. Some stuff is a business decision. If you want to start working on your, you know, website as you gather everything, because the website is a process. If you're doing like a actual, you know, website with the host and everything where you have to build it out, go ahead and start working on it. Go ahead and start working on your Google page. You can do everything simultaneously. Um, if you're going to use the Google, like the free website, go ahead and set the Google page up and then you can do the website because you have to have the Google page in order to do it. So it just depends on, you know, your your flow. But Got it. You're going to do the website, like build it out. That does take time. But remember, the Google page takes time, too, because you have to get it verified. So I will work right. on it kind of simultaneously, maybe, just so you can... You know, and that was the shocker for me too. I got verified immediately. <laughs> I was looking for all kind of horror stories, and I got verified. They sent me the code. I put it in, and they said they told me I was verified. <laughs> Everybody's experience <laughs> is completely different with that, <laughs> but that's good. So it seems like you're ready to do the website if you're verified. You know, you want to maximize your Google page, and then once it's done, it seems like you're at that point mm -hmm. where you want to. Start. Okay. And another you. thing you can do while you're waiting to build your own web page is if you have a social media homepage or like if you have a LinkedIn business page or something like that, you can put that in as your web page before you get ready to build your own. So let me add another caveat to that, um, Connie. Um, like we were talking about expenses and everything. So there's a free Google landing page that goes along with the Google My Business. So the Google My Business is the phone piece of it. And then there's a Google landing page, which is completely free. So I had, that's what I used for my business for the last three years. I just um, set up an actual website because the Google landing page is strictly for Google. The website, like going through GoDaddy or all of those, Bluehost and all of those, those are actual websites that get you that in that web presence all over. So the Google one is just fine. I started with that, but now, like I said, years later, I'm actually getting a web. I actually have a website. So it's really nice. I built it myself um, using GoDaddy. Um, full disclosure, now Alexis has her own website through GoDaddy. Angela just paid someone to do a website for her, for her business. So all of us now have full-blown websites, but we all started with just the free items on Google until we saw where we wanted to expand. So for those of you trying to save money, use the free use the free resources right now. Or you can go ahead and like Alexa said, start your website right now. Um, I believe it's $125 a month. I mean, not a month, per year that I pay on GoDaddy. That's if you want to kind of bump it up. So they do have like a free. Can you use that free one forever? I don't know about forever, but I just remember it was like, it was, you could do it for free. The option was to upgrade. That was, I, the I just want to know if it's free forever or do you I didn't look into that? that if it was free forever. Yeah. So double check. They do have a free one. I don't know if it's a trial period or not, but worst case, the minimum package, like I said, I have for that business is $125 for the year. I think it is. Okay. It's a trial because I have the go I have the GoDaddy subscription as well. Uh -huh. and it's free for a little while, but then you have to choose a hosting package. Okay. So then if that's the case, the option to upgrade. Like if you want to do certain stuff, you can upgrade. Okay. So if that's the case, then you can get the cheaper package, which I have is one hundred and I think it's twenty five per year, one twenty five or one nineteen. It's not that much. I actually so if I had it to do over again, well, see, I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to even do this business. That's why I didn't invest a lot into websites and stuff at the time. And I didn't know anything about building a website um, until we started doing Notary Educators, and I built that one. So, uh, yeah, I guess if you want to go ahead and start with the website for 120 per year, sure. But if you really just want to kind of keep everything to a bare minimum to get started, you can use a free one, okay? Oh, so wait, one more thing. Oh, more yeah. Thing. Remember the free landing page with google it, yes. it does have a domain name so people you know you pay for your domain name 
depending on what you choose, it's it's fairly inexpensive. Twelve usually it's twelve dollars. If you get something based off their calculations that's in higher need, it might be twenty, twenty five. Um, but it you can get, you know, pay that and then you'll have a domain name. So you can put that on your card, you know. Okay. Like okay. Services.com. So you'll have okay. a just until okay. you get ready to do the GoDaddy or whatever host you choose. Yeah, because I bought the um, domain name today. So again, I'm just trying to figure out which is the best way to go moving forward. So thank you, ladies. You can move to somebody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Ms. Katrina, welcome. How are you tonight? What you want to talk about? You can unmute yourself. I can unmute myself. Well, I, you know, I want to talk about a couple processes I tried. Um, you know, I got, I started the process in 2022 when I was working for a lawyer mm -hmm. and I wanted to uh, um, be a notary. I had no idea that this portion existed. So, you know, I wound up uh, not working for him anymore and I had this notary so I started watching things on YouTube and then I discovered you guys but I waited a whole year before I even considered um, loan signing because I wanted to get the basic notary stuff down packed first before I jumped into something you know it's great to add services but you, you got to be set realistic goals mm -hmm. and you know for me what worked for me is I try to uh, add something every six to 12 months. And um, today I had a signing. This is a, a suggestion you guys had gave me last time. I had spoke to you. I had a signing popped up at three o'clock. I had to be there at 445. It was an hour away and it only paid $40. Okay. So I was like, I'm just going to accept it and see what happened because they never called me. But this time they did call me. Okay. And then I said, how far is Mansfield from Akron? And I looked it up as an hour and one minute. I told her when she called me, I said, I can't do it, you know, for four dollars. That, you know, that's too far. And um, she doubled the price. And I was like, okay, and I did it. So sometimes the job might offer lower, still accept it. And if they call you, then possibly you could negotiate. That's all I wanted to say. Wow, I'm so excited. So was that your first assignment? No, actually, now this is my third assignment. My first assignment was horrible. It was <laughs> an out-of-state signing. It had three signers. <laughs> I had like six mistakes on it, but the first one was worse. I had my second one this past Saturday. It was perfect. And today I had my third. Yay, that is so great, Katrina. We are so proud of you. So to her point, um, for those of you who may be new, thank you so much for sharing. If you get an assignment and you want to ask for more money, just ask. You All you can say is no. And in her case, it was at 445 in the evening. So you already know most people are not getting ready to take that job. You know, so that that's a clue right there. Let me go ahead and ask for more money. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If you don't ask, you already know it's a no. Very good. Thank Unless you. Unless you're in Arizona. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at her. What that mean, Connie? We gotta come back to you. Hold on, Miss Joanne. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Katrina. Miss Joanne, welcome, welcome. What you want to talk about tonight? I just want to piggyback on the young lady who was talking about the website. So you cannot host your, you can't host your website with Google. You can only just make the landing page. They don't host websites. They have that's a website. Correct. Uh -huh. that, that's a landing page. Now they do have something called Google Sites, mm -hmm. which you can use. And that's free. Google Sites is completely free. I didn't use it because um, I had already started with GoDaddy and I found out about it later. But there is something called Google Sites, which is completely free. And they have plugins and all that kind of stuff with the website, too. So that is another option. So you have the landing page, the phone part, which is Google my um, Google Business Profile, the landing page with Google, and then Google Sites. So you have three options with Google. 
Okay. Because I, I have found it Google. easier to use um for myself. I found it easier to use um GoDaddy. Okay. I have a Google workspace. That's why I'm asking. So the workspace is like your emails and stuff. Your email plus your domain name. Yeah, I got $12 both of those. per year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. $12 per year for the domain name. So I have a $12 domain because I started over there. So I had to transfer that domain name over to GoDaddy. So it was $12 that I paid Google. And then when I transferred it over now, I have to pay, I think it's $10, some, something I have to pay GoDaddy because now they're hosting it. So oh. um, yeah, that's something else to think about too. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. We appreciate it. Miss Chef Patrice or Beatrice. Welcome. How can we help you? What are you talking about tonight? How are you doing today? Thank you for um, doing this. I have learned so much from you guys, being as though that I'm expanding my business and notary is now part of that. Yeah. Um, the question that I have is, is insurance um, necessary to have to be before I start doing the notary or can I just start notarizing and then later on get the insurance? Like what's 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 the how-to, I guess? Do we have a fellow notary that can explain to um, to explain to Ms. Beatrice about insurance? Is there anyone out there familiar? I am share? familiar with it. All right. What All is right. insurance? In the state of Florida, there's a couple of different things. One, there is something that's called a personal bond, and that just gets paid to the state, and, it's seven, and the bond is for $7,500, and you pay a certain fee for that. But then there is also something called Errors and omissions insurance or E and O. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that comes in several different levels or layers. Okay. You can get it for as uh like you can get twenty-five thousand dollars worth up to a half a million, maybe even a more million dollars. And that basically covers you against errors and omissions in the documents that you're working with. Okay. And most signing services want at least a minimum of $25,000. Some actually want $100,000. And I was considering getting $100,000 as I reviewed my first year this year. But since I'm having issues getting paid by various signing services, I think I may hold off a year on that and focus more on general notary work via run. But anyway, that's what insurance is. Which should you have it before you start notarizing? I would recommend you get it before notarizing. I wouldn't do it without that. That is correct. Everything Thank you. Arnold said. So yes, and I will add this caveat. The bond insurance protects the client. Errors and omission insurance protects you as the notary. So you want to make sure you have your insurance before you start stamping anything. I always say I wouldn't drive a car. Without car insurance, I'm not stamping any document without notary insurance, okay? And we all get ours right through the NNA. And as Mr. Honor already said, 25000 will normally get you into the door with most signing companies because they have their own insurance too. So you just need a minimum. And if they tell you that you need more and you want to work with them, then you would have to increase your policy. Okay. Just start out twenty five thousand per year, like thirty bucks, uh, um, thirty bucks a year. NNA, National Notary Association. Okay. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Miss Angela has joined us, our third trainer. Um, uh, would you like to just do a brief introduction, Angela, and then we'll keep going. And guys, Hi, please guys. um keep on with your comments for the evening. We want to keep it, get as many thoughts as we can. Go ahead, Angela. Hi, everybody. I'm Angela with AJ Mobile Notary and Apostille Services and one third of Notary Educators. So I'm glad I was able to join you guys tonight. And thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We did have one question from the chat and then we'll come back to Ms. Vicki. Um, Ms. Uh, Susan wanted to know about signing companies. Uh, what do you need to sign up with them? I have a video, Ms. Susan. I am. Huh? It's Susan. Uh oh, you about to get in trouble, Miss Susan. Somebody in trouble. Miss Susan. You're on mute too. <laughs> Did I read the question wrong before you get her? <laughs> I, I messaged her personally because I was like, what is this question? No, no, the paperwork, all of the paperwork that we need. That's oh. what I mean. Okay, okay. Oh, Not, the okay. Not the signing. <laughs> okay, okay. Because we have to put, don't we have to put together a whole, um, 
folder full of information. Oh, yes, ma'am. It was on our slides. And it's on your takeaway tip sheet. Too. It was on our slides, I know, but I need I need a refresher. because It's on, your, it's on your takeaway yeah. tip sheet, too. Your email. The email. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Because I'm getting all these calls from a lot of uh, signing companies. I had one today that wanted me to go get somebody to get papers signed. Well, no, it wasn't good. The man died. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, well, not that part of it, but the part that they funny. called you. Not no, that not part. Laughing. It's not laughing, but I keep telling them I can't keep calling these people because the man is dead. I, I spoke oh. with his daughter, and they keep saying, try this number. And I'm saying, the man died. I don't know how to say it any nicer than that. I said he's passed away four years ago. Oh. But, well, remember no, I, I told you about this? Remember yeah. I said how all the ones are coming in? Yeah. They're trying to a very rural area. Well, no, I was clapping because you even had an assignment. So oh, I was to say this is a yes, okay. but I don't know what's happening because the I couldn't get I couldn't get over there to them because when I called up, they said he died. So okay, yeah. So I was about to say Miss Susan been with us for a while. I can't believe she asked you that question. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, but, but you know what? Do you think that you still get paid for something that you can't go to, even though the person died? Even though you went through, you did the calls, you did all the other things? No, no. If you had printed and drove out there, they would give you a travel fee. But yeah, just for making a phone call, they don't typically pay you for that. Okay, okay. Well, I did, uh, I did give them the information. Okay, and yes, I do have that, Alexis. Thank you. But I think you know that all of us should know. I think it should, we should be talking about it, too. Because that's important, isn't it, to send it in? And here's the other thing. I didn't realize, I don't know why, maybe because I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life, that every single year we have to take that, we have to take an exam in order to um, get on there. I don't know. Did everybody know that and I didn't know it? Yeah, every year you have to renew with the NNA and every four, year, four years or more with your um, government. Yeah, NNA is annually, though. The background check and the test. Is yes, I did it and I passed it. So I that's all done. And the background okay. is all done. And then look at your tip sheet for how what documents you need to sign up with the signing companies. Look at your oh, tip sheet. Okay, okay. And I know then, I have it. Yeah. I know I I've been I've been really going crazy. I have trees and and um <laughs> you know. Yeah, so just take your time. In our area. We had tornadoes in our area. Oh wow, but, but I'm glad you're safe, but just take I your am. time. I am. Yeah, thank take, you. Take your I will time. Check it and check the tip sheet. It's right there. And I if will. you want everyone else to know what Miss Susan is talking about is please visit um, my YouTube channel. I have a video yeah. on how to sign up with signing companies, how to sign up with a hundred to make it easy for yourself. And I just want to oh. say one, one other thing. Alexis was wonderful. She oh, did help you. me. No, you did, Alexis. You gave me that. What everybody's talking about is being scared. Oh. Yes. And I've done a lot of things in my life because I'm old, but um, I just, um, I, I don't know why this, this makes me so tense when I think about it, but I just said, I don't care what it is, I'm going to take it. Look at you. That is so good. Alexis is a great trainer, yeah. She is, she is. She does she our long signing cool. and also the Google My Business and actually everything. She does, we all do everything, but she's a pro at those. She Thank is, she is. Susan. So I'm going to get off and let everybody else talk. Okay. All right, Ms. Susan. Thank you. Thank you. And reach out to Alexis if you're still scared, okay? Reach out to her. Uh, Miss Rachelle, I think, was next, and then we'll get Miss Vicky. Um, I just had to say, first, you and Alexis came on here to answer y'all are giving tonight. I don't know what it is about this hair and this makeup, but y'all are giving this evening. I just wanted y'all to know y'all are giving what needs to be gave in this in this meetup tonight. I just wanted you ladies to know that. That's all I wanted. Oh, you're so sweet. So we have to share with you guys um, why we're all made up today. We actually, the three of us, including four of us, including Jeffrey, we went and had a photo shoot for our personal businesses as well as notary educators. So look for it coming soon. You should see a difference in the website. Um, you'll see a difference in our personal website. So we all on the upgrade over here. <laughs> so we had our makeup done thanks to Angela's daughter. She was like, you must get your makeup done. And her daughter also found us a photographer. So we had a whole day just treating ourselves and and we split the cost on everything. So that made everything super cheap, which was a blessing, you know, split three, four ways, three ways. And um, 
Yeah, so we got our photos, uh, photos taken today. So you'll see some um, photos coming out soon. Yeah. And I don't wear makeup, so you probably never see it again. <laughs> I don't know. I got kind of used to it. I told Alexis, even if I just do my eyebrows and do an <laughs> eye makeup, I'm like, I'm kind of feeling it's myself cool. tonight. It's it's awesome. awesome. I'm feeling myself, but it's way too much. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. But thank you all for, for realizing. And it, clearly it made a difference because, I mean, you're not the only person that's commenting. It's all in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we all be looking that bad, y'all. <laughs> All right, thank you again. Miss iPad Vicky, what's going on with you? I, I wanted to ask a question about the insurance when you were talking. Um, so it's just one insurance, one E and O insurance, right? You don't need separate policies for each, like for loan signing and for general work. Angela, you want to answer that? Sure. So your E and E and O insurance covers your notary certificate. So whatever you notarize, if you make a mistake on the certificate. Your E and O insurance covered, whether it's a loan document or a general notary work or a deed, you're covered uh, by the E and O insurance. But it does not cover you losing the documents, you dropping them in the water, as we always say, or some. It doesn't cover anything else but your mistakes that you make on any document that you notarize. So it doesn't matter whether it's a loan document, general notary work, or whatever. If you notarize something, that notary certificate, if you make a mistake, it's covered by your E and O insurance. All right, Mr. Arnold, you want to add to that? Oh, no, I had something else real quick. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on one I... second, there. Hold on one sure. second. Let's sure, sure, sure. Real quick. So as Angela already stated, it doesn't cover if your documents get lost, stolen, wet, if you run over the cat, you back up into the mailbox. It doesn't cover any of that, okay? It only covers you in the actual act of stamping a document, okay? And that says a notary or a notary signing agent. Every time you stamp, you are covered, but it does not cover anything else, okay? And Alexis, can you get those comments in the chat in just a second? Yes, Ms. Vicky, is that clear? Yes. All right, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Mr. Arno, where are we moving on to? What are we talking about? Okay, real quick. Uh, it was, I just wanted to make sure I got this in stuff I did last week, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, and as a matter of fact, not only can I tell you what I did last week, I can actually show you what I did last week. Okay. Okay. Can you pull up a Google window real quick? Oh, okay. Uh, let me do share screen. Yeah. Okay. Alexis might be quicker, but I'll try. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, go to Google. and enter in caps MAG number three space notary services. Uh-oh, somebody populating. Okay, okay. So this is you right here on Yelp. I uh, finally got my business page up. Yay. Yay, congratulations. Yay. No, that's Yelp. I got it on Google this time. Okay, I was trying to see, can I get over there? I've been in this, um, oh. the city and state sometimes since we're in different areas. Tell me your city and zip code. What's your city and zip code? Uh, yeah. Try 33, uh, uh, yeah, 33544. Four. Try that. Oh, I forgot to put notary. Okay, Mega, right? Nope. What was it? Meg 3. Yeah, oh. it's uh, yeah. Go up and say, uh, Mag three. No, not Meg. Mag. Mag. M A G. Mag. Yeah, and then put the three right next to the Mag. There you go. There, it is. there you are. Yay! Let's see your website. Congratulations. That I'm still working on. See, like I remember when I said sometimes you can use your LinkedIn page as your website because that's, that's what my cool. marketer did for me. Okay, did you guys get that gym tonight? So you can use your LinkedIn as a landing page. Okay. Right, like, because my, you know, you and can do free. that. That's free, right? Yeah, basically. Okay. So I'm, that's my that's my LinkedIn website, but I'm using it as my web page in the Google business page. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. I'm but that, my point was, I wanted to show you I finally did it. 
Cool. Congratulations. Yes, you're making some lead right there. And you got some followers. Yeah. Well, that's just my connections. That's all. But basically, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Super cool, though. We're excited for you. Anyway, that's all. No, that's a big deal. That's a big it deal. Is. Yeah. Did we have any other accomplishments from last week? Anybody else get anything completed? Um, I know we're missing two people that were here last week that I don't see. Anything else from last week? Tawana? Tijuana? Hello, everyone. Hey, Hello. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I have officially um, registered my name. It came back. So I am uh, Tia's Blessed Inc. Mobile Notary Services. Yes. Congrats. Uh, Congrats. I'm Congrats. in the process of um, trying to get it LLC. Okay. And get my EIN number. Um, yes. But I am excited um, after talking with you, um, Kimberly, uh, about a month or two ago. Yeah. You know, you said you're not going to be one of those. You're going to do it. Right. So I'm doing it. I, I, I've been listening to your webinars. All three of you ladies are awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank um, you so much. And I, you know, just the encouragement that you've given me. Um, and it's, I think it's time. I just I've been holding on my notary. Um, it'll ex actually expire next year in June, mm -hmm. so I have to renew. But um, I want to go ahead and move forward with it. And you know, I'm gonna start off general notary work. You know, mostly. Um, I got your book. Thank you. So, <laughs> it sounds so, like you're doing it. You're doing yes, it. Yes. So um, just just a matter of getting everything in place. But I, I searched my name. I put three in there. And the first one I chose got picked. And How do you feel? No, How do you feel? I, fe that I felt fun? good. I felt good. Yeah. And I still feel good. So um, that that's an accomplishment. I tried to do my Google, my business page on yesterday. Uh -huh. Well, I'm sorry, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I got, I got stuck. And that's at the end where they were trying to do the verification. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we got an answer now, Honda, right? From Terry. Wasn't it Terry? Yeah. You say what now? You say what now? Last, was it last week when Terry shared that information with the Google? So she was saying, basically, when you try to verify, just show a whole video. So you want to go outside, show the front of your house, your vehicle. Street name. Outside. Oh, yeah, your street name. Okay. Now, that's the thing I can't yeah. understand. One of my clients, the street, she had to, she basically can't do it all in two minutes. She had to run down the street, up a hill, something to yourself. But if you can, street name, your house, your vehicle, and like any documents on the inside, your stamp. I heard mm -hmm. On the desk. On your the notary desk. certificate on your desk. Yeah. Okay. Lay all those things out. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what did it for me? It was providing them the link to the Florida Department of State website that showed my active listing on their website as an active notary. Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. That's oh, what was that? What was, what was so, that again? So in other words, uh, they always wanted a business license, but obviously uh -huh. notaries aren't licensed in Florida. You get a certificate, but that's all you get. But right. what I told her was, I have a listing on the Florida Department of State's website for active notaries. And I gave them the URL for that. And so she passed it along to Google Verification. And that's what, that's what clicked it. That's what did it. Another for those who don't know what the oh. URL is, the URL number to the website. The URL. Uni okay. Uniform okay. Resource Locator. That's what it stands for. Okay. URL. Uniform okay. Resource Locator. You give them that link. That's what did it for me. Another okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. Miss Donna. And thank you, Miss Tijuana, for everything. And we're so proud you're of welcome. you. Thank you so much. Let us know next week what you've done. Every week you should make some progress. Okay. All right. Very good. Miss Donna, what's going on with you? Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hi. I'm excited to report that I created um, a Gmail account for my business. Yeah. And I also went to the state's website and paid for the LLC. 
And so I will be Northeast Georgia Mobile Notary Services uh, LLC. It. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. That is great. That is great. I do, I do have a question though. On my uh, state uh, LLC application, I put my home address, but I'm going to the post office tomorrow to get a post office box. Um, can you go back and change that? Because I really don't want people to have my address. You kind of uh, need to okay. have a, a physical present address in an LLC thing, okay? Oh, there always okay. has to be a physical location where you are because that's what the sheriff has to use when he comes a calling. Oh, now, hopefully, okay. Now, hopefully he will never come a calling to you, but okay. they always have to have a physical address so that, you know, the sheriff can come and serve issues and file complaints and stuff like that. So I'll leave it just like it is. Well, let me add this to Ms. Donna. And again, it's going to be a business decision overall for everybody. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when it comes to that address, people get super, super duper panicky. But don't forget, we're public servants. So your address is all over the NNA, everywhere you go. Internet. This is true. You try to hide, but they already know. That's why I always tell people, don't knock on my door uninvited. Absolutely. Uh, and I would also like if somebody that's using their garage could share a, maybe a picture with me, how you have it set up. Uh, that would be Marcel. Cause that would be Marcel. Regular. Yeah, Marcel got, the, Marcel got the hookup. My, yeah. I want to put Mar mine beside Marcel. I work out my car in the garage. My car yeah. is in the garage. I, I pop my hat back. Yeah. I do work out my garage, but it don't look like Marcel's. Yeah, Marcel oh, but it's not set up. Is Marcel set up. set up like an office? Yes. Yeah. Marcel, do you mind sharing a picture with me? Yes, but how do I share it? Where I mean, do you want to share it? What are, what are you all right now, Marcel? I know it's putting you on the spot again. What you all right now? You can Let's go take a picture. Phone. Let's go take a picture. Okay. I have pictures yeah, let, in my phone. I, I'd let you see mine, okay. but it's a hoorah's nest. So, yeah. no. Okay. I guess I'm just wondering if I can put it in this chat. I don't know how that works. No, just show it on the just show it on the screen. Like this. Yeah, share your screen. Like no, that. just show well, it on the screen like that. You can, okay, you can add a file to the chat. So, I'm gonna put my um email. Okay. Do you want okay. to send it to my email? Wait a minute, you guys. Wait a minute, you guys. Marcel, just show your phone on the screen. Okay, I'm on my phone now. I have to put pull it up, pull it up on another phone. Give me okay. a second. Okay. okay. And while she's doing that, let's get Miss Rachel. Miss Donna, was that it for you? Yes. All right. Well, hold on one second. Marcel's going to show you. Congratulations again on getting your business name. That's a big deal. Yeah. Thank you so much. Miss Rachel, what's yeah. going on with you? Can I say something real quick, Kimmy? What? Can I say something real quick? Oh, hold on, Miss Terry. Miss Rachel first. Uh-huh. Well, what yeah, I accomplished Terry. last week is um, I got my notary bag like Miss Kimmy's, but mine is purple and it has my business name on it, not just a notary, um, mobile notary services. Um, I have all of my stamps. I got my embosser. Um, I have my notary handbook for the state of Georgia. I did some research around my area and determined that when I have people, when people say that they're going to that that they're that I'm gonna that they're gonna come to me. I'm gonna have them meet me at the library that's up the street from my house. Um, because the other one offers mobile services for free. And I don't want them to see me in there with my stamp and boss. So they come in there and be like, you know, we offer this service for free. I was like, nope, because then they'll and they'll be trying to take my business. So I was like, nope, I'm going to the other notary service, going to the other library up the street. That doesn't offer notary services that way. They won't be in my business when I'm doing my doing my stuff up there. And tomorrow, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna channel my inner Kimmy, and I'm going to the bank up the street from my house to offer them my notary services as a supplement to what they already offer. Because one of the banks that's up the street offers notary services, but I know they can't notarize everything. And the other bank that's right across from it, they don't offer, they don't offer notarizations at all. So I'm gonna go up there in my best church suit and go up there and tell and ask and uh, sell my services to them as a supplement to what they already offer, or for them to have as a resource to contact if they need somebody local that needs notary services. Congratulations on everything. And her going to find that, Miss um, Rachelle going to find a mobile office 
is due to Angela and Mr. Arnold because yep. Mr. Michelle does Thank not you. drive. So that idea to go set up a mobile office at the library with compliments of our teammate here, Mr. Arnold, and Miss and our trainer, Angela. So yes, and, making some things happen over here. Congratulations, Rachelle. Like and either thank that you to or Mr. Arnold and, either and that thank or you. Like, or like a Panera or someplace to go eat or something, you know, because we did a lot of networking meetings there. Any place where you can just sit down and have a quiet conversation with somebody, those will work just great. Perfect. Let's get Miss um, Terry C. We're going to see Miss Marcel. And our final person tonight will be Miss Donna. Miss Terry C., hey. how are you doing out there? I'm doing all right. I was just the lady who was talking about um, her address being out there. And Angela said it, yes, it's everywhere. But when you do your group page, you can always say you don't want it to be uh, seen. Oh, yes. And she was talking about her LLC, too, uh, with the government. Yeah. I think you probably... yeah, it's, all, it's all out there. When you get, yeah. they yeah. get your, your stuff. <laughs> yeah, Miss Terry, yeah. see, you had the people going crazy with your tip about Google on uh, last Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so we thank you for sharing yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see the person the, that, um, young lady that actually was able to do it and it worked for her? Um, oh, I forgot. Oh, her no, I'm a, I'll go. I'll go. She was looking for okay. you. So thank you for that. All right, she, did she, it, she did it the okay. next day and it worked. She All right, was looking for you. Wow. All right. Yes. Great. Great. Yes. Love y'all. Thank you. Love All you right. too. Yeah. And that's what Monday nights is going to be about, guys. Everybody sharing gems and helping each other. I'm so excited. Miss Donna, and then we'll get Marcel to wrap it up for us. Okay, last question. Is it okay for me next to go ahead and get my NNA insurance and become a member? Yeah. And do the background you check? Your, you have your, what about your basic training? Have you done basic training? No, I'm starting that too. But I, I don't want to do a website or anything until I get my training. I don't want to put myself out there yet until I'm trained. I don't even think but, you need to get your insurance yet. Wait until okay. you train and then let's do insurance. Let's because you already did a little bit more than I would tell you to do without training, honestly. But you already well, I really training. wanted to get that name before someone got it. Oh. <laughs> it's her name, girl. That's okay. But yeah, that was why that was why I went on and did it because it came to me in my sleep and I woke up. I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. He gave me the name. And oh, so I love it. I love it. I wanted to capture that. I do like that name too. It's going to have a lot of reach, the coverage. Right. So, yeah. So now let's put pump the brakes. So let's not do anything else till we get training. And then we'll come back to insurance and all that. And I'm going to okay, say something, something real quick about in, uh, insurance. You really don't need insurance until you're about to go stamp when you finished everything else. Because when you get your insurance within 24 hours, you know, you have it already. So if you get your insurance, then it's two months or a month before you stamp, you lost a month of money you know, from buying insurance. So that's why we said, wait until you get everything in place before you stamp, then get the insurance. Um, Thank things, you. Two things. Uh, Ms. Shelley, you definitely gonna be the last one. And Ms. Terry C, can you come back really quick and tell them about the Google? Because people were asking about that. Um, give us yeah. one second. Okay, go ahead, Ms. Uh, where did she go? Marcel? No, it was somebody else had their hand up. Shelly. Oh, Shelly, go ahead, Ms. Shelly. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you, Kimmy. I am a new a newbie, so I'm new. This is my first time on the call tonight, and awesome. um, <laughs> thank you. And I wanted to say that I did purchase your book. I have my I'm in Georgia, so I have my book um, from you. Start your own notary business in Georgia. I have my Georgia handbook, and I was just like. I had fear. I work in HR and I do legal stuff, but for some reason, I just had this fear of notary. And one of my coworkers uh, heard me say, oh, you know, I'm commissioned. And we had a guest where I work that needed something notarized. So she was like, oh, yeah, I know someone. And I just totally freaked out. And it was like the hardest thing for me. It was like 16 pages oh. and it did not have a certificate. And I was so glad that I took your class on how to notarize like a pro. So I went straight to the Georgia handbook and I was able to go online and print out the Jurat uh, certificate and the acknowledgement one because I had to do an acknowledgement and a Jurat. And I was like, okay, what did Kimmy say when I have to swear someone in? So I just wanted to say thank you so much. And I look forward to taking more classes that you guys offer. 
Oh, thank congratulations, you. Congratulations, Shelly. Shelly, we appreciate that. Look, good thing I took you, thank huh? You. <laughs> thank you again. And congratulations on your first notarization. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, and nothing to be scared of, right? You got this. Thank you. Okay, thank you again. Miss Terry, Marcel, we coming for you right now. Miss Terry, can you yep. explain really quick how to get um, approved on Google? What your tip yep. last Friday, please? So, um, when you get to the part where you, you have to do a video, you want to start at your street and show that sign and you're going to move quickly. Um, you're going to go to your car. You don't necessarily have to have a sign, but just show that you can open up that car and tell them this is what I, the car I use to do my um, business in. Show the address of your house or your apartment building and then go up the steps or whatever. Show the, if you're in an apartment building, show the, uh, number of your apartment and then tell them we're going in and this is where I do my this is my office and on your desk just have your some your cards and I had my uh different certificates or license out you know and then some papers and I said this is where I work and that was it and I got approved thank you for just got to move that. swiftly <laughs> So she's saying just for a visual who are watching, you take your camera and just go around the house, around the car, around the papers. Just take your camera really quick. How long can a video be, Ms. Terry? See, do you remember? I think it can't be longer than five minutes, if that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you can, and depending on where you are, you can, you can get it done because I was surprised. I still have a little time left. And right. then at the end of it, you should be able to upload it. Upload the video. Okay. Thank you yep. for that tip. They were just asking to make out. sure we covered it. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Terry. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, Marcel. Can you show the people your garage? And then we're going to wrap it up. Well, I just took a picture in the garage. Oh, can so... y'all see that? It's an idea. She has a car. How amazing is that? That's pretty that cool. That is awesome. That's pretty and cool. I think there's another. Okay. This Wait is another minute. view. Wait a minute. I stepped off. This is oh. Donna. Oh, okay. come back. She got the picture right here. Can you make it long ways or no? Oh, I thought it's long ways. It'll take up more of the screen there. I don't know if that makes like, it better. Turn the phone the other way. Bring it a little closer. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Bring it a little closer. And make yeah. it bigger. There Bring you go. Bring it a little closer. We yep. can't see it unless she's talking. Oh, really? Oh. Talk. Okay. <laughs> they have to be okay. talking. <laughs> this is why I told y'all to put it in the group chat. <laughs> I I mean, I can post it. <laughs> well, you can see it. Just say this is my garage so they can see it, Marcel. Put the picture yes. it, and then that way the screen will it'll go to you because you're speaking. So put it well, back in the camera and then just say this is my garage. This is my garage. Or okay. she needs to do it again. Okay, this is my garage. This is my garage. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. We heard right. Angela. So it's a part of so it. Much. All right, Marcel, yeah, thank I you. guess I guess then I don't have a garage. I have a junk shops. <laughs> That's very good. It's in the thank Facebook you. group too, right, Marcel? Feel the picture? I think a while ago, but I'm gonna repost it. Okay, I was gonna say search her name up in our Facebook group as well. Because she posted it. Yes. A That's a wonderful idea. So I'm looking for it. <laughs> Just a couple announcements really quick, guys. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, please join as Notary Educator. It's completely free. We will be back again next Monday, but we'll be at 6 p.m. We were a little, we had to delay it today because we had, we changed the time rather, because we had the photo shoot earlier, but we will be, be back at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, don't forget the combo courses are available on the website if you'd like to check it out. Self-paced also. And then the book that was referenced a couple of times, Start Your Notary Business. Angela has the Apostille course for those ready to upscale a little bit. Angela, I mean, Alexa has a Google My Business too. So just play around with the website, see how we can best assist you. And we will definitely see you all again next week. On behalf of Notary Educators and Notary Life with Kimmy, I'm going to say good night. Good night. Thank good night, you, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. You guys look wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Let me hit stop on the recording.